back to another die cast unboxing video. Today we have wave number six. Finally. But, disclaimer, uh, there was nine die casts in this wave. I did not get the NHRA. Probably gonna, uh, take back uh, the Haas car. Maybe. I don't know. For sure I want to take back the 18 because, um, I've already got it in the gold series. So that is why I may keep this one. Uh, just in case, who knows? I don't know yet. But anyway, we have Daniel Suarez, Kurt Busch, Kyle Busch, uh, Chase Elliott, Elliott Sadler, Casey Kane. Oh, voice card. Casey Kane, Kyle Larson, and Freaky Fast Kevin Harvick. So without further ado, further yeah, further without further ado, let's get into this diecast review. First up, we have Elliott Sadler's one main number one. Xfinity Camaro now I already got this in the gold series uh, you guys should have seen the review of that if you didn't uh, I'll leave a link in the description below if I Remember I'm getting this on Sunday uploading it on Saturday, so I should have time. There's the whole wave right there There is an NHRA, but they're doing like a separate wave thing now, so that's a uh, pretty cool. I guess There's a big difference between this one and the gold series one as you guys know gold series has the correct uh, correct plates and a black interior this one does not however but that is okay because I do have plans for this one and some of you may be wondering Wrangler what's your plan that will that will come later you'll guys see that later on but no it is not a custom die cast uh, damaged so get that out of the out of your little head because that is not happening one main financial here's a little magnet right here it's just a car and here is the die cast itself one main financial right there Lending done human. I said done last time. Number one, uh, got the classic oomph.com. One main financial. Yeah, we know that. Same thing right there on the deck lid. Uh, lending done human. Uh, OMF.com. Right there on the back with a little bit of sponsors and number one. Uh, talked about the side already. It got a little swoosh and got one main and number one right there. Armor, Chili, Branded, Hunt Brothers. All those good sponsors. But this is nowhere near close to the Gold Series one. Gold Series one is way better, uh, just saying. But yeah, I have a plan for this one, but not a bad diecast overall. But I think that's about it for this one. So let's go ahead and go on to the man of the year, which people hate slash like so far. Either you love him or hate him. Here is Kevin Harvick's number four Freaky Fast slash Jimmy Johns. Now... This kind of saved me because I was going to get it in the gold series. But this is good for stop motion. You guys know the only reason I do this is because of stop motion and uh, stuff, good stuff like that. So we got a pretty decent hood. I mean, it looks pretty nice so far from what I can tell. But uh, let's go ahead and open this one up. Don't understand why it's not white instead of red because that's a main color. But oh well. So here's the die cast and I already see a huge uh, error. Look right here. That Outback is so off. That's okay because it's a small sponsor, so I'm not really going to worry about that. But first off, uh, let's skip the car just for now. Let's look at the hood. Like I said, pretty decent hood. Got Jimmy John since 1983. Uh, sandwiches, what? I think it means gourmet. Gourmet sandwiches. It's. I don't know why there's a T at like at the end of stuff like that. I honestly feel bad for everybody who is, or anybody who's trying to learn English. I, I feel bad for you. Got Tasty right there for Kevin Harvey. Got a little black line right across. Kind of reminds me of Earnhardt, just with the red, white, and black. I don't know, just kind of gives me an Earnhardt vibe. But here is the car for you fast right here. Jimmy Johns, uh, Haas, Mobile One. Got the uh, American Ethanol ring right there. Got the number four. And you got Jimmy Johns, uh, same thing on the... Uh, yeah, plastic hood. I thought it was a magnet at first. Same thing on the hood there. Uh, got a little something going on right there. That's fine, though. Number four right here. Uh, no Jimmy Johns or Freaky Fast, something right there, which you thought there would be. Uh, Jimmy Johns right there on the deck lid. Jimmy Johns right there on the back. And same side as the other, or this side's the same as the other one. But that is all for Jimmy Johns. Uh, die cash right here. Let's see, we got... Five more left. Uh, so far, I think this wave is pretty good. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. 
Chase Elliott's number nine Sun Energy One. Uh, which is kind of ironic because this is they changed it for the Watkins Glen race and he actually won in it, so that's kind of weird. I I do like the Sun Energy One. I have two from 2017. I have one from Authentics and one from uh, Gold Series. But I like how they did it, and they kept it with the 9, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this 9's a little off, and they're always like that. Well, not always, but on this one, it's like that for every die cast, which kind of sucks, but we'll look more into that here right in a second. We will take a look at that number 9 here in a second. Well, let's take a look at the other number 9 on the magnet right here. You see it's a magnet. Sun Energy 1, Chase Elliott, SC1. Sun Energy 1, number 9 right there. I like the cool little like design in the background. It's pretty cool, and they got the little sun thingy right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool magnet. Not bad. Here's what I'm talking about. See the nines like pushed over here, and it's not like this one. It's more over here. It's kind of like over. I mean, it's just slightly off, but I mean that is okay. I mean for uh, all in all stop motions. I mean you do see both sides, but oh well, it's okay. Anyway, got Sun Energy One. Got this really cool paint scheme. They got flames all over it. Like I, I really like this paint scheme. Uh, too bad they changed it. Uh, it doesn't look as good as the other one, or as this one, they, the old one. Uh, I think the old one looks better than the new one, but I mean, oh well. Nine Sun Energy One Napa Mountain Dew American Ethanol ring right there. Uh, Valvoline Valvoline, however the heck you want to say it. Say it both ways because I don't want to make everybody upset in the comments. Sun Energy One Camaro. Right there again, number nine. Something weird going on with the spoiler here. Or, uh, yeah, spoiler. I don't know what's going on right there. Oh, well, Napa Auto Parts on the deck lid. Sun Energy 1 and number nine on the roof right there. Sun Energy 1, right, uh, leaders in commercial solar. Right there on the hood. And, of course, it's the same on the other side. As it always is. Well, not always, but normally. Daniel Suarez, number 19, peak car. This is um, my third Daniel Suarez car, I believe. I've got the Stanley, I've got the Aris, and I've got Peak now, so I believe this is my third one. I do like how this looks. It looks just like um, Matt Kenseth's, but it's, of course it's got number nine or 19 right there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and see how it looks unboxed. Looking at the magnet, as always, got Peak, Antifreeze, and Coolant. Uh, Dan Suarez, number 19, Joe Gibbs Racing right there. Another magnet. But the die cast is the best part, obviously. But look at the blue. That blue is really nice. I don't know why, but it just it reminds me of the Mountain Dew green that uh, Dale Jr. and Chase Elliott had, but it's just blue. Really sparkly. looks really nice. Got peak antifreeze and coolant right there on the hood. Uh, 19 and peak on the roof right here. Blue Def on the deck lid, uh, Peak Toyota 19 Camry, little um, camera thing right there on the back. On the side we got Peak 19, uh, Blue Def Antifreeze and Coolant, and you got other little sponsors. You got like Mac Tools and K&N, Lincoln, 3M, you know, all the sponsors that come with it. Aris, Stanley, uh, let's check out the front, we haven't checked out the front yet. Uh, not bad, just a standard Camry, but this die cast is like insanely good. Like, I don't see any defects, I don't see any um, like decaling errors, it just looks so perfect. I'm gonna have to probably give this, give this one like a 10 because, like, you can't get better than this. Yeah, I mean, you can technically, but in the wave, I'm not gonna count that. Because they can't put the nameplate or the black interior because it's in the wave. We know that. But putting it with the Gold Series version, if you got the Gold Series, that's definitely a 10 or a 9, maybe. Um, if you got the this one, I'd give it a 9. But Gold Series, I'd give it a 10 just because it's a little bit better. But this one, really nice. Kurt Busch is number 41, Haas. Uh, got the 2017 version. Just to kind of look at that and see the difference. Uh, it, from what I can tell, it looks the exact same as last year's, other than the spoiler. But let's take a little bit closer detail. Oh, well, a little bit closer look at the detail. We do not know Kurt Busch's fate. Well, the 41 car's fate, actually. 
We've had so many rumors that uh, Martin Truex Jr. could go to the 41. He could go to the 95. Nobody knows yet, but I really hope he stays with the 78 at least one more year. That would be really nice. But here's the magnet, and here's the die cast. We'll take a little comparison look at this one. Now, the only difference is this right here. Well, you can kind of see underneath it that there is... It's got Kurt Busch right across the nameplate right here. I've added these logos, the Monster Energy logo and the Kurt Busch on the back. So just take those off and put Kurt Busch right here on the front. And um, just imagine that because that's pretty much the same. We almost got the same paint scheme. Well, same paint scheme, but different sponsors. You can see right there it looks pretty much the same. We got a little bit of sponsor difference right here. Got the uh, bigger spoiler right there on the back. But, let's take a look at the die cast. Got Kurt Busch 41. Uh, that is on this one too. And we got Haas right there on the top. 41. Uh, we got Haas on the hood. And on the deck hood we got Haas as well. America's machine tool. Uh, Haas right there on the back. Haas again. 41. This is just an all Haas car. Haas 41. Uh, 3M, you know, all the good sponsors there. It's just a Haas car. I mean, got it's the same thing as last year, but it just has a little bit of sponsor difference, so it's not really that bad. But overall, it's still pretty nice die cast. I like how the red and black mixes. Like I said, it's just like last year's, but it's still good. Kyle Larson's number 42, Credit One Bank. Uh, I've already done a review on this in the Gold Series. I'll also leave the link to that down in the description if you want to go check that out. But we got the Authentics version, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'll actually get my uh, Larson, just kind of compare it a little bit. So here is the die cast. Let's go ahead and just put that one over. And then let's look at the magnet. It's just his car, just a magnet. But here's the difference between the Gold Series and the Authentics version. Of course, I put that logo on there. Uh, it does not come with that logo. I put that on there myself with my printing skills. I got Larson uh, right there on the back with the Gold Series. Same diff uh, same thing, but only thing different is the Larson nameplate and the black interior. You guys know how it is with the uh, Gold Series versus Authentics. We got DC Solar, Credit One. I'll go ahead and review it again. 42... Uh, credit One Bank right here, 42, Credit One Bank, Credit One Bank on the deck lid, Credit One Bank on the back, uh, ZL1, Camaro, Focus, I just realized I had it like all the way up here, there we go, get a little bit better, and it's the same all around, but like I said, I have a more detailed version of this uh, on another video, so I'll put that in the description if I do not forget, more than likely I will, but let's go ahead and move on to our final diecast and probably the best one out of this wave so as most of you guys know good old Casey Kane he's retiring after this year unfortunately but here is his no number 95 pro core really really cool uh, probably want to get his WRL one in uh, the gold series I don't think they'll make that in authentics I mean they might I don't know but this is a pretty cool diecast overall uh, I said that like I'm, I just reviewed it, but I didn't. Of course, Casey Kane, he's leaving after this year. So is Elliot Sadler, so we have two retirement drivers. Well, actually three. I think Kurt Busch is retiring after this year, isn't he? I believe so. Maybe. I don't know yet. Well, we'll see. I'll get schooled in the comments for not knowing that. Anyway, let's take a look at this die cast. It's got a pretty cool magnet, looks like, and a pretty cool die cast. So let's check it out. So here is the magnet. Got Casey Kane right up at the top, if I can pick this darn thing up. Got Procore 95 right there, got his little design, and we got the magnet on the back. But here's the true beauty right here, Procore. I wish this was a little bit bigger, just a little bit, not much. But you got Procore on the hood, a little orange spot there. 95, Procore on the roof. Procore on the deck lid. Uh, Procore Camaro Z01, 95 right there on the back. Procore 95 and his little design and stuff right there on the side. Same as the other side. But like I've said before, this kind of reminds me of Cincinnati Bengals but just because it's like the same colors. That's probably why I like this one so much. But just the story behind it of Casey Kane's being his uh, final uh, car in uh, the Monster Energy Cup Series is uh, probably the main reason. 
that this car is so good to get, but I mean, I literally got this Wave before it was even put on the shelves. Like, that's how fast I got it. Mom went to the back, said, hey, what, what, we, what we got back here? Is there any more coming in? Because my son does reviews. Well, she didn't say that, but that's why she went in there, and boom, it came in a really big box. So it was even, like, not even on the shelves yet. So it came in, like, this box right here, so... Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you, Mama. Gotta gotta appreciate Mom. Mom does everything. Mom's the reason I have my subscriber count. So, Mom's basically running this channel, <laughs> not me. I'm just the one reviewing everything. But let's go ahead and do this outro. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more wave reviews just like this one and you are not subscribed to the channel, click that red subscribe button down below and hit the little bell and turn on all notifications for the channel so you don't miss an upload or a live stream because I do go live sometimes. So, that is all for this video and that's all I gotta say. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.